If you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. And if you want to be happy, you're going to have to do the work in deep. Quick fixes become better diets to take back your time and live your life for you. Because if you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. I got a hot chalk. <laughs> Pleasing myself. Um, and so I have such a long intro. <laughs> it's all ready to go to the loo and make a hot chocolate. You can see my beautifully on brand nails. Um, wow, here we are. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> Two in one day. Oh, exciting. So we are going to be doing a landing station and coke cupboard. Um, again, change of the season means a change of the cupboard. And again, this isn't hugely messy and I do appreciate that, um, but it's those little steps in the right direction. That's the important thing. I'm starting to make those little changes. So um, I've actually got some seasonal swap outs. So I'm gonna start by doing that. So I better put my hot chocolate down. I don't want to because I'll now forget I made one. Um, but a few little bits. I love this jacket, but it's it's like spring, it's definitely out of season. It needs to be in the spring pile. It's a little bit snug. It's a little bit snug. So next season, at the beginning of the season, I will open it out and see if it's going to last. Let's put these on the chair. So my definite season changed ones are that one and that one. So uh, this is like my, my light, it's not waterproof, but this is like my spring jacket. Um, and through summer, sort of that nice little layer. I just absolutely love it. It's got these beautiful buttons on it. That I changed myself. Um, it was just such a simple coat and I just wanted it to be a bit, a bit more jazzy. So I've got these little pink rose gold buttons on it, but there are so many buttons on it because I like one on the back and everything to the ages. Um, but I was really pleased it new release of life. I think it had lost a button. Um, I will still use my flip-flops a little bit, but realistically, will I use my flip-flops? No, I'm calm. I think I think flip-flop season's over. The sandals are definitely gonna go upstairs. So that's fine. Um and I basically just live in these, although they're going through at the toe. I need to put a little stitch or something, something in there to save them. Um, and they need some insoles because they've gone through on the bottoms. But I love them. I absolutely love them. I should try and find some secondhand like ones online that someone doesn't haven't used as much as I. I got these when I was pregnant, and they're just. They've got a little bit of silver, a bit of jazz at the back, and they're simple and they're comfortable, and I just have loved them. And I don't, I really don't want them to fall apart. Um, so I keep, we keep most of our shoes. You can't actually, can I move them around? So what I have in here, it took me ages to design this cupboard when we moved in here. It was a mess. So when we first moved in here, there was just hooks randomly all over the walls and things and just this weird concoction of shelves that made no sense and now we have this rail here all the way along because we are coat hanger people for our coats further down out of the shot we've got coat hooks for our daughter's coats so she can hang them up because she's a hook kind of girl and she's obviously a lot shorter so she needs to down access and then these shoe you can see the edge of it here. <laughs> oh there you go we've got these shoe cubbies they go down the side on a single thing on the side and then at the bottom there is like one two three rows of them i don't know if you can see that because i can't see what the camera's doing at this point um so we've got those in the coat cupboards and then here here uh we've got an alpha i love these they grip top and bottom to the door so they hold really securely and you can get different configurations of pegboards and different types of baskets um this I think there was one other type of basket that I would have quite liked for the top four, 
but it, I found it look weird having the two different baskets on the same unit and I didn't want those baskets on the other one and in the end this actually came as a whole set instead of one of the customizable ones so I just went for this one and um, but this is yeah this is our alpha and as you can see she's a bit of a mess this is just not my jam not my jam so we're going to do something about that too um but uh one of my sort of <laughs> very good uh my daughter's coats are mainly all year round ones. Welly boots. This came out. This was something she was drawing on, painting on, and I didn't want to get rid of it because I wasn't sure if she was done with it or not. And I thought oh, I'll hide it. And if she doesn't remember it, then it can go. So that can go. Um, and then she's got her little jacket there. Uh, waterproof which still fits what size are you size four still fits her so that's fine um and then she has a winter one over there that will come into circulation now because it's it's getting to the point where it's nearly cold enough i'm gonna move that one over there and then it can come on to this side um I'm basically always cold just always so <laughs> I have two body warmers and I have on occasion worn both of them yeah <laughs> always cold um apparently <laughs> did not do myself a favor going vegan on that point because um we have less vegans on the whole will have less inflammation in their bodies which means they are likely to feel the cold more um but considering the strong correlation between um inflammation and cancer i'll take the um i'll take the cold thanks um so what coat did i got this is part of warmer coat i'm just gonna go another pop up um those ones are still those are all year round that's all year round those are all year round that's all year round and um, so i've got a couple more winter ones to add in here that is not a good combination. What jackets have I got down there? Um, da, 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 da. It's no longer, I love that coat again. I had it such a long time and it still pretty much looks new. It's, yeah. It's just sort of a bit more interesting and then it has like a velcro uh, velcro elastic cinched waist thing and i do have i don't know what it is i have quite a few coats for a minimalist <laughs> um but they all do serve different purposes and because i don't do very well when i'm not comfortable um i can have less internal underclothes because i have the different layers underneath but there are so many more options for your top layer from waterproof and short and um like i wouldn't want to go that one's waterproof but i wouldn't want to take it if it was going to get really muddy and then this one i do keep out during the winter months because it is just the waterproof layer so i can just put it on top of everything but it's also good in the summer <laughs> um and it's just a good windbreak one as well but then I have a waterproof that's got a lining as well. I just I I have a lot of coats, I will be honest. Um but yeah, I just I do I do use them all, I use them all a lot. Um and yeah, I just yeah, it is what it is. I every every year, twice a year, whenever I change my coats around, I go, You've got a lot of coats, woman. You need less coats. And you know what? I never get less coats. <laughs> I don't I don't buy any more. I don't need any more. But I um I like the ones I like the ones that I've got and yeah, they're not going. They're not going anywhere. Uh, I've got two pairs of wellies, those are seasonal. What is that? Oh, another bit of my kids' bizarre artwork that can come out. Um, and then she's got sandals and flip flops. I'm hoping the flip flops will do definitely no longer flip-flop season definitely no longer sparkly sandal season um and these might still fit next year because 
because they're open toes, they will probably do the beginning of the season. The flip flops are still quite big. Um, these she was coming up on, but they were only a fiver in a charity shop, so not too worried. And they're still in really good nicks. They'll clean up and resell, but I won't resell them now. So they might as well go into her summer storage box and then um, they can come out at the beginning of next year and we'll see if they still fit. Um, then she has her school shoes as her smarts. She has some trainers. And I will keep these out because they've got a closed toe. We can get away with them with socks and things as well. And she still wants to be in sandals. So we'll keep, we will keep those out. I'm just going to hoover the bottom bit. So excuse the noise. And she's got space to put her her school shoes in down the bottom so how we do our shoes is she has the bottom row and um, my partner has the next two rows and then I have the tall skinny bit up the side um my daughter the, the holes can I can get six shoes six pairs of shoes in the bottom ones if I needed to my daughter has four pairs of shoes that's how many pairs of shoes she has um and then in the summer she'll have a couple of extra um sort of flip floppy sandals but um she usually has a smart non-school pair as well, but it's just nothing we're really going to where she needs that. Um, so might end up getting something later into the year or like a smarter pair of boots, but um, we haven't really got anything planned like that kind of thing. Um, we'll go see Father Christmas and she'll probably just wear her school shoes for that because um, we normally do like a nice outfit of some sort for a picture, but that's about it. Um, and then my partner keeps his sports trainers in the garage. I've often said you can see them in here, like I don't mind, it's not like they're really gross, but then I have my running, my trainers. So I've got, and I will bring out of my wardrobe upstairs, my little ankle boots as I start to use those more. Um, but I've got some outdoor running trainers, two pairs of gym trainers that neither are good. So that's the only reason I've got two pairs of gym trainers one of them's still got really good grip, but they're not as comfy. And the others are really comfy, but haven't got good grip anymore. <laughs> so I'm just trying to wear both of them out. <laughs> um, and then I will replace them at some point. Maybe my birthday in March, I might treat myself a pair of trainers or something. Um, but yeah, there's, there's that. We'll put them away. No, they're a bit too expensive for Father Christmas. So um, yeah, there's that. Um, so... I feel no, I haven't taken out half the season. Oh, we've got hats as well. So these I don't really have anywhere else to store them. I guess they can go in the loft. Um, I normally just store them at the back. So the shelf in here is quite deep. Um, so I normally will put these at the back of the shelf. I'm undecided if I will do that again this year, but that's normally what I do. Um and then we can swap around and bring the winter ones forward. So these are our summer hats basket and they just stay in the cupboard. And again, we'll go to the back of the shelf. Oh, that is a winter. Well, I wear that all year round, so that can come out. To be fair, I kind of do. I'm still wearing that one, but the rest can go to the back. And then we have these two baskets so I didn't buy these baskets specifically for these we had a chest freezer that we sold and these were in there and they fit on the shelf so I kept them <laughs> kept them for this um so that one can go to the back little shelf for brush down and then the sun hats can go to the back and they have just been the front row um and now they are the back row the back row and then these are already split up so this is gloves um and wrist warmer type ones um my earmuffs and then my so now these are at the front they can hang off there 
da -da. Um, and then I have my scarf that I might actually put in the cubby instead. Let's see, let's see, let's put this in and see how it looks. Um, that one there. And then, oh, this is another scarf and I've lost my favorite scarf and gutted, absolutely gutted. Um, don't know when or where, it just did a, did a run out. So going to try and find a similar one. So these winter woolies, I'm gonna put my peak cap in here because I'm still gonna use that for a while. Um, but my daughter and I have some matching hats. She has some hats in here. She's got her earmuffs. She's got one hat in here. I feel like she grew out of a lot of her winter hats last year. So I might need to find something else. So there's that one there. And then, ah, there's space on the shelf next to it. So this one can go just next to the other basket. And um, so I have these giant like scarf things that you can use them as scarves or wraps. They are wonderful. I had this one and I had a navy and the navy one just vanished one day, no idea. Um, and I was really sad. My godmother gave it to me a long time ago. Um, and then I have uh, like a, a nook moth one and um, I keep in here too. So that's the that's the top shelf swapped over. That's the top shelf in there. Oh, I'm not very good at this. There you go. So front row is now the winter stuff, and back row behind all those ones is summer items. Is that as far back as that's going to go because there's another basket there. Let's see, and then that one there. Beautiful. And then I'm going to sort out this lot here. So I've done the, I've done the shoes mainly. That's sorted. Coats here. We have some hooks that we have bags on. Um, but I like to, I quite like having that one up. So this is our sort of going out walking in the woods bag. It's got some bird feed in it got a first aid kit in it and so every parent will understand it's got a spare pair of pants in it. <laughs> that's just how we roll isn't it it's a bit of ribbon randomly I think it's always whenever I do a closet clear out I just check the bags as well just to make sure and um, we've had two hooks up for ages I don't think we need two I think one is plenty. I'm going to go for the smaller one because we only ever hang these bits on it. So, declutter. Gone. Super useful though for hanging bags on. I do like those. Um, but this is, I've got a couple more coats to come in here, but I just want to move this to the side. So, this is camera stuff. We also, oh, you can't see what I'm talking about, can you? So here, this is our about to leave the house pile. And um, so this is things that need to go out of the house and end up on here. Um, and I don't, I kind of do and I don't like it. It's, it works, that's the problem. <laughs> the system works. But it's a bit irritating that there's always, oh, there we go. It's a bit irritating that there's always just some random bits there. They don't, I mean, not that the, the bits stay for a long amount of time, but just that they're, that it happens. Um, these I was going to say for my sister, but I've just realised I'm not seeing her now again for a while. I saw her on Monday. Um, so... I'm going to list those on Olio and see if anyone else can make use of them instead. Um, and there's only this bit then that's going back to school. Oh, forgot my hot chocolate, didn't I? That's, I said I'd forget it. There we go. Let's have some hot chocolate. Oh. Mm. So yummy. So yummy. I've also just kicked the hoover. Um, but my daughter loves doing photography. So my cameras that used to be upstairs in my office I move them all down here I say all oh, there's not a huge amount I move them down here so that she can get to them when she wants to but still she can still put them away properly um, 
However, I might relocate them into the alpha. Um, and then that makes this a bit lower and I won't mind so much there being a pile of stuff waiting to go. That's for a friend to pick up. Um, that's a thought. I think I might do that. And then that's OK there. And what I've got upstairs, I've got some low, low baskets. I might put one of those there for putting things in. But then it just raises it up again. It's all right. It's not so bad in the summer. It's more in the in the winter. My partner's coat's a bit longer than mine. There we go. That's a bit shorter. Put the shorter coats at the front and then um, less of a problem. But it's not not ideal really is it uh hmm. new plan new plan i'm going to move my shoes down and relocate the scarves to my shoe top of my shoe rack and now we have a little drop zone here that's better happier with that little drop zone there and then there's a lot more space here. I don't need to worry about that. Cool. Perfect. Let me grab the other coats and then that bit's done. Done, diddly, un, done, 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 done. <laughs> Send the camera flying. Uh, does this not go any further? No, no. I've stretched. I've stretched it to its max. Not happy anymore. This is why you need a cameraman. Or an editor on multiple angles. Um, so I love this coat, and every year I like um and ah about it. I just never seem to have that many occasions to wear it, but it's so comfy, it's so comfy. There's a summer fair, a summer fair, an autumn fair coming up at school. I will wear it for that, <laughs> and I will make it more of a mission to wear it, but it's short, so it can go there. Um, my lined waterproof. And then my daughter's big fluffy goes on her hook. That's her big winter one. She'll be very happy to see the butterfly. She kept trying to wear it into the summer because she loved it so much. Um, not going to say it's my cup of tea, but we got it for free, so... <laughs> Cheapskate me. Um, and then my big fluffy winter one. It's fake fur, it's not real fur. It's all dog -dog. It got gross. It was like 60 quid. Um, 2015? Yeah, 2015. So it's seven years old. Um, which for a 60 quid coat is not bad. Um, it was in TK Maxx and I went to go and get it properly clean sort of four years later when it was really gross and they were going to charge me an absolute fortune and they weren't even sure it was going to come up and so I wore it for a couple more years and then last year at the end of winter last winter no the winter before I finally caved and I put it through the washing machine and the tumble dryer and it came out absolutely fine <laughs> it was fine it did not need a fancy wash at all it came out absolutely brilliantly and it's still snuff and snuggly and I love it. Love my coat. Um, <laughs> love my lovely coat. So I'm going to pop it in there. So there we go. That's our, our winter coat set up. And then if we have guests coming to stay, we tend to take all of this out and put it either up on the top landing or in the garage and then put some empty coat hangers in here. So guests can hang their coats up instead. So that is our coat cupboard limited don't keep any like other bags in here apart from my daughter's book bag after school um we keep it in the stuff that rotates a bit more and we keep our bags in our rooms so all of her like um dance bags gymnastics stuff that goes back into her bedroom the only one that stays down here is her book bag because we will use it up until bedtime for things um and then pop it in here um and my handbags and stuff go up into my office and my partner doesn't really have the bag. Um, the only bag he tends to take is a reusable shopping bag because he knows I would absolutely crucify him if he bought a reusable bag while he was out. Just wouldn't happen. Right. 
here we go. This bad boy in half an hour. Um, I'm going to grab a box. So there's definitely some things that are coming off here. These sunglasses, I need to get them remolded because they got a bit flattened. I do still love them, but they got a bit flattened. They're Havanas. They're actually a blue, like a navy blue tint instead of a black, but you can't really tell um, that they need moulding again. Um, and I keep not getting around to it. <laughs> So I'm going to move them to my project box because I just don't need another pair of sunglasses at the moment. So I move them to the project box. Sellotape that is nearly out, but that needs to be with the packing stuff up. So I need two boxes. Stupid one. Um, so I've got my relocate box and this is my rubbish box. Um, we will still use suntan lotion. That is pretty much out. And the bugs in the winter just aren't really a problem. <laughs> There's a little bit left in it and doesn't have a use by date on it. So I'm going to put that in with the sun hat. So we've got it for the beginning of the warm season. The warm season. <laughs> like I live in a jungle. <laughs> Don't put them in Berkshire. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, factor 50 face, um, we will, actually my moisturiser's nearly run out upstairs, so I might use that for some of that instead. Oh, that was a big bang, sorry. And um, hand sanitizer is more for taking out with us, so I think that can probably go into the bathroom supplies, but I will leave a suntan lotion in here um, for the winter, um, so I don't know if I'm taking that out. <laughs> That's all staying in there. Receipt pouch. Many, many pairs of sunglasses. So I need to. Are those my partner's or mine? Those are mine. Those are mine. Maybe we've got someone better that those could be. Those are the. That's the case for the ones that need fixing. So let's at least put them back in their case. Um, those are my nice glasses. So I might as well keep that case with them. So well, it feels like so many pairs of sunglasses when it's really not. But I might relocate those down so they've got a bit of a taller thingy. Um, and then. What have we got? One, two pairs. Team GB. I don't know where those ones of his are. But either way, I don't feel like they need to be in here. Um, and then the sports sunglass straps I'm going to put in with the sun hats because, yeah, we won't use those until the summer again now. Um, I'm holding that box between my knees. And key pot. I feel like we can find a better place for and this stuff that is for money that is meant to be going to the charity lady I think let's put that on there needs to go pile keys 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 that can go somewhere else that can go somewhere else does not need to be in here it does, and that is extra bits of faff on keys that just aren't needed are just going to clutter up the key pot. So while I need to keep the key in here, I do not need to keep the extra like key rings and stuff that come with it. So that is just going to go go, and then that can stay there, and that can go go. Those will keep awesome done. Uh, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Parcel tape, that can go back up with the wrapping. We probably just went through a phase where we seem to be wrapping lots of presents and brought it out of the present wrapping box and it doesn't need to because it doesn't touch the pages. Uh, Alan Key, so we did have a couple of tools up here for a while, but we just find we tend to just go into the garage and get them. It's not a problem. So 
and um, maybe we'll put a tool back here in the winter but at the moment we're in the garage a lot um oh i really hated when the restrictions the two meter restrictions lifted and people were still coming close to me and i wasn't ready um so i had lots of badges on everything but i don't need those right now um however i'm not going to get rid of them I'm going to just relocate them um ready for the next pandemic tape measure we always seem to need one of those so that's quite a handy one to have in here um padlock just don't feel like it needs to be here i have a feeling this one doesn't work oh no it does that's fine that works that works we're all good so we'll keep that one up there um however feel like we can find a better a better home for this I don't know where but if I was looking for a padlock that is not where I'd go to look for one so let's relocate that one as well um and the little glues do not are not conducive with the bars so I'm actually going to put that in the drawer that we were fixing this morning when we did the junk drawer that's going to go into the junk drawer um well, my now beautifully organised drawer is not only a junk drawer. Was it? So pretty. Oh. Safety pin stuck. Close. There we go. Close enough. Close enough. And that is now rubbish. Perfect. This one I feel like can probably pretty much be emptied out completely. Um, again, not going to get rid of them. I use things like this, I use when I'm cleaning, uh, not cleaning, um, spray painting and sanding and things, those can get used up, but I don't think we need to keep them here anymore. I still can't, I have one in each of my handbags still, um, just in case more for when I want to wear them, as opposed to the fact that I go anywhere where you're still meant to wear them. I don't know if you, there are anywhere in the UK at the moment, but might happen over winter, but for now, I just think it's a bit depressing having them there. Bit of a reminder <laughs> of the last couple of COVID related years. Crikey, we have a lot of them. Um, so the fabric ones, I'm gonna put through the wash because I'm not 100% sure when they were all last washed. And um, the disposable ones are gonna go into my DIY bit in the garage. Um, and the others once they're washed are probably put into where we have some long-term like overflow items for like our bathroom stuff i think that's probably where those will go um but the fabric ones will get washed first just so i know i'm putting them away clean and look look i've emptied this out so much this is the one i used to use when i went to go and get a hair dyed <laughs> Still got life in it though. We've still got life in it. Um, right, top bit looks lovely and clean. So beautiful. So beautiful. Um, I feel like that can probably go up there. Oh, another one of those. Um, fabulous. It's getting there. Progress. But what we need to look at is down here. I'm going to come down here and sit on the floor so I can reach it all. Can you see me? Just about. Mm. No. Bring me down a little bit. Is that better? There we go. Okay. Okay. We now have somewhere to put the elastic bands from the junk drawer organization this morning. So I can go in my box of things to relocate. Um, shopping bags. Um, I'm quite strict with which ones I like. To, I love Lululemon shopping bags. I haven't bought anything from Lululemon in many, 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 many years. And these bags are still going. And they are just a nice size to fit over your shoulder. And they also conveniently fit nicely in these. So I have one, two of these. I have another two or another one. I think I have at least another one of the big ones. Um, and then we actually have a couple of small ones in the wine rack because we don't have any wine in it. 
disappointing. Um, but um, no, our kitchen has a lot of like places to put wine. It's not that we don't need wine. It's just some weird places. So the two small ones. So I don't know why this one's in here. The two small ones normally live over there. And then I have um, a couple of those. This other one that's a similar sort of shape and size. I got in an event. That's a nice size for shopping. Um, and then the two that are in the car, because after um, I pick small up, we are going to do some food shopping. So they might as well stay in there. And um, then what else have we got in here? So despite not having a dog, there's lots of dog things in here. We do borrow my doggy um, and we look after a doggy. Uh, we're having one for half term, but I feel like this is not a good, because we don't have a regular one anymore. I don't feel like this is a good use of space. Those, we have a bag overflow because I do go through quite a lot of bags. They do quite a lot of things with Olio, charity drop-offs. It's a lot easier if you can take a bag and just leave it there. Um, and also for, oh, there's a little small one there. Over there. Um, also for painting related things. Um, like this is not that would get recycled so i might as well get another couple of uses out of it at some point so we keep those but they go into the garage one instead and um, we've got a couple of little umbrellas here i do have a little umbrella pot um that i might pop those in or do we oh decisions 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 Let's see. I'm not undecided where those are going to go. Um, the pot won't take all of them because it's got tall ones. But I suppose the question is how many short umbrellas does one actually need? Um, that's quite a fancy one. And that's quite a fancy one. I'm, I'm going to say we don't need that one. That can go. Um, but even then, I'm not sure they'll all fit in the umbrella pot. It's quite a small pot. It's probably not massively fit for purpose. I thought it was bigger. It was, again, it was a freebie I found online. That it's cute. Um, plastic gloves, uh, again, from um, COVID and litter picking days. Unfortunately, at the moment, I haven't got the, haven't got the time. I hate saying that because they always say, if I say I haven't got the time, it's, it's code for I just don't want to do it. Um, but I haven't been prioritizing going litter picking. So I feel like having the gloves here is probably not a good idea. I tell you what, where I am gonna put them. I'm gonna put them in our going for walk bag because if I do go litter picking, I take that bag. So they might as well be in there. Awesome. So now we've got two empty baskets down here. These things are awesome. Okay. So this is my longer day out. This is my everyday day out one. Um, they one of them has got a hole in it, it's on the way out. It needs in need of some TLC and pop that in there. And so in here I have uh, tissues, <laughs> tissues, always a fold up bag, a coin for the trolley because our main supermarket has thingies for that, my spare headphones, which one of them's a bit dodged now anyway, so they're not really worth selling or anything. Um, but if I've forgotten my headphones and we're in a really noisy environment, I'm autistic and it's just too much. So those, oh, I always I always need to have headphones with me. I still keep a mask, um, not always from a COVID standpoint, but again, from an autistic standpoint, sometimes I just want to be hidden, but in public. And I find this helps people leave you alone. <laughs> Go on, on, they think you're ill and you don't want any of them. Um, I always have dry lips, so this has a lip balm. And um, if I break a nail, I pick at it until it bleeds, <laughs> so <laughs> I always have a nail file. Um, and then I have my sunflower lanyard, um, which says I'm autistic and I have anxiety, and please give me space. Um, because I don't like people not giving me space, it's really irritating. <laughs> So I have that one in there. Um, I've had a pencil in there. I used to use it a lot, but I just don't anymore. So I'm going to keep leave that out. Um, and I have a hairband. Always helpful because if my hair is annoying me, 
the whole world will know about it. <laughs> Can't do it. But, um, again, bin liners from my litter picking. So that can be relocated because it's just I have I have some litter picking stuff in the car as well. Um, and I find that that's just enough at the moment. Uh, we've got more dog stuff. I'm going to make a little doggy box, I think. OK, make a little a little doggy box of doggy bits. Um, one day we'll have a dog to go with all our doggy bits. <laughs> there we go. I've got a little doggy box and I'm going to find somewhere somewhere else to keep that. Not sure where, but somewhere. Um, more plastic gloves so they can go in with the other ones. Uh, these my daughter bought home from her grandpa's like a year ago. Um, and I feel like at this point they can probably go into her pencil pot. I kept them here for her to take back or as to post back and um and we haven't so actually i'm gonna put them into this one so this is the one i basically take whenever i leave the house i put my wallet into it and my so i can fit my wallet my phone and my to-do list notepad in here as well um and then i can just take that with me throw it on the seat in the car and i know i've got everything kind of thing without needing to take a handbag i also like that it's clear so i can see everything that's in it um, but I can also throw it from handbag to handbag without having loads of duplicates in handbags, without things falling around in handbags. This is a game changer when it comes to handbag leaving the house organisation. I would always forget something if I didn't have this. Because if I forget my wallet, I've got Apple Pay on my phone. I never forget my phone because it's like my third arm. Um, so there's that. Like, I will come back. Um, spare socks. Those might even be too small for her now. I'm going to hazard a guess that they probably, oh no, they might still fit. We'll try, we'll try. I'll pop those in her wellies instead so we can see where they are. Um, I feel like these, these get used. They are useful to have here, but they could probably go on the top shelf, not this prime shelf here. Um, cleaning cloth. Um, I think my partner has something in the, so we have a little shoe bench the other side of this door and I couldn't really, I can't really, I'd knock everything over if I was doing both of those. So I'm going to check and see what's in there um, to whether that can go in the top with those as well. I'll move those when I stand up. And then this is my more sort of longer day trip one. There seems to be a receipt in here though. What was that for? Crikey, where is this from? 2020. I don't know where this has come from. I mean, I know what it is. My partner buying me perfume in 2020. And um, it's my birthday present in 2020. And um, so we have some reusable cutlery in here. Someone's obviously entered out a coat and just thrown it in the thing and it's landed in there. That's old, that's old. Just checking that none of them are September and all the snake. Cool. What is this? Oh, that I need to find. That needs to go in there because that is a bank card. Do you remember Barclays did those personalised bank cards? I don't know if they still do them, like they still offer them. But every time I get a new bank card, despite asking to have a plain one, they send me a picture one, which would be fine had I not ordered my first one when I was married. <laughs> I'd, and I'm not anymore, and I'm not, I have a partner, so I need to find a Barclays bank to go and get them to do that. Also, I need to change my name on it, and you have to go into store to do that. So I'm gonna move that into that one, and then eventually it might actually happen. And um, that needs to go upstairs. Anything else in here that can come out? No, I think there's all stuff that stays in here permanently. So we have three forks, one knife, a spoon and chopsticks in there. And that seems to cover all eventualities pretty much. Um, I don't know why I've got an extra card in here. Is that one broken? No. Um, so I have my 
other sunflower lanyard in here. So if I just take this one by mistake, then I've still got one. Um, I have hair bands for both myself and my small human. Um, that can come out too. I'm not involved in that anymore. And what I'm going to do actually, she used to have these little pencils, but it's just not cutting it anymore. Is I'm going to put the ones she liberated from grandpa's house. <laughs> gonna put them in here and um, instead we have an ice cream scoop because she likes having the little plastic spoons if we get an ice cream and I don't like her having the plastic so we keep one in here um clip if you have a half packet of crisps or something you can clip them back up again she has a metal straw we have powdered suntan lotion um it's really good because you can put it over the top of makeup if you're out and about. Um, but I find she likes having this done. So we, we only use this as a top up. And also it's over a year old. So it's probably only a factor 15 now. It was a 30. But it's better than nothing. Um, and it's not going to leak in here. So that's fine. Got to have a lip balm. Always got to have a lip balm. Little sewing kit. Isn't it cute? My, that was my mum's. Really, really old. Um, hand sanitizer. Ah, so that I don't have a hand sanitizer in here at the moment. Hmm. There you go. That was the other pot of hand sanitizer that I found. It must have fallen out. So let's put that in there. And as I know everywhere you go has hand sanitizer now, but I really don't like it when my hands are sticky. Um, oh, I see. I see your comment, but I can't read it from down here. Um, Loving the project box. Our project box is the best thing ever. Uh, I feel the same. We haven't had a chance to lip a much recently. I know. Boo. Um, sorry, I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> um, so my project box is an IKEA size cube. Um, and things, oh, let's get the hot chocolate while I'm doing this. Um, it's an IKEA sized cube box I have in my office. Um, and it goes in there if it has if it's not like an urgent thing maybe it's a repair that i just don't need for a long time or something like that then it goes in the project box and once a month i have an hour and a half on my calendar to go through the project box now sometimes i get to the hour and a half and i'm like there's nothing urgent in here it's fine but i'll only spend 10 minutes just checking through the box um, and sometimes I take the full hour and a half and I do all the repairs and sewing and stuff that's in there. Like I use it to collect up all the clothes that I want to dye. So if I've got a light, this was a light colour jumper. I loved it. Didn't wear it very much. Got a big stain down the front of it. Wasn't going to wash out. Um, so I threw it in with a load of other things and dyed them navy blue. And it's now my favourite jumper. <laughs> Fun fact. Um, so... Uh, those are going because we're going for big ones now. This isn't quite staying shut anymore. It's got because I had to add an extra fork into it. And um, where's my little? There we go. So I'm going to steal one of my daughter's hair bands because to start with she needed two because she didn't have enough hair to put into one bunch. It always had to go into pick into um two bunches so there we go that's better um so hand sanitizer a dry bag i know this sounds weird but this is an oddly useful thing to have little dry bag um pants anything that got wet um or you come on your period when you weren't realizing it it's helpful to have somewhere to put them that's not in your handbag or going to leak or whatever um, I don't know, just surprisingly useful. Something leaking, you can put it in there, you roll that down so it's clipped on, and then it's, and you can also do that and then clip it onto something so it's not inside your bag. So if it is wet knickers and you don't want your bag to smell like wet knickers, you can put the wet knickers in there. I'm thinking more the children here than yourself, but you, but you never know, we're, we're human. Um, uh, you can put them in there and then clip it on the side of the bag and then they won't be getting stinky and stagnant being inside the bag. They are not going to make your bag smell. Um, so surprisingly useful to have a mini dry bag in your <laughs> handbag. And like I said, this is the pouch I would take if we were going on like a long day out. This isn't this isn't what happens if we go to Tesco. Um, this is a face spray. This was particularly useful uh, during COVID when we had masks on a lot. As soon as I come out of the shop, I could give myself a little spray because it just got, as much as I like having a mask on so no one can see me because apparently I'm invisible when I have a mask on. Um, 
this was nice a bit of a, a refresh and a revive and without like if I, I often touch my face too much and it's um antibacterial as well but you can use it on your face it's called sos skin shield um from beauty kitchen and i love it um particularly in the summer it's just really refreshing as well um but i keep that in here too i have a pack of tissues doesn't have as nice a packet as the other one the other one actually i found in my mom's house recently um while we are clearing it out um so i thought it'd be nice to have that in there i'm going to relocate the pencil does it actually work yeah i'm going to relocate the pencil to this one um hair bands and my lanyard and then you can actually fit this one in this one <laughs> double up i don't usually i to be honest i usually will take both if it's a day trip where i need this one the chances are i also need like a big bag with layers of clothes and food and stuff in so the size of my bag isn't such a problem i'm not trying to pack minimal if if it's this kind of trip out um but these i use a lot so these are going to go into here that oh god getting old everything creaks sister and i were saying this the other day it's like just everything aches <laughs> so i think these can go up here they do not need prime location down the bottom anymore mm. tasty right what else have i got to fit in fit back in I seem to have cleared out a lot of stuff mm. it's still yummy but it's not hot anymore no longer hot chocolate um right Bags, bags, camera, um, stuff, umbrellas. That's about it, isn't it? Excellent. That's what we like. This will be doy. Um, so I'm going to actually move these up. That is a much smaller one. So you need, you need a small pot for in here. These don't actually fit, and it kind of bugs me, to be honest. Um, so that would fit, but that's a bit scruffy looking. Um, mm. Oh, I know, I'll be back. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, I'm coming back. There's always something somewhere in the house if you go and rummage long enough. Um, this is why we just don't need to buy other things for organising. The chances are we will have the things somewhere in the house um, if we look hard enough. So, I'm actually really fussy about which glass jars I keep. These are on their way out. I think they're going to be too wide. Yes. They wouldn't be for that. I don't know if I'm going to that. These are <laughs> some of my favourite glass jars. <laughs> I have favourites. Um, these come with vegan Hellman's mayonnaise in. They're really nice. Um, the reason why I haven't got a lid on it is because I save up the lids and spray paint them all white. And then they make my kitchen drawers, my spice drawer look really pretty because <laughs> they all have white lids. Um, so it's worth paying that like extra 20p more to have the glass jar instead of the plastic one. Um, we also tend to find it easier to get out of a glass jar. It also fits better in our fridge. And you now got a lovely glass jar. Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? So close, so close. And we have, next up, these are a little bit too small, I think, for that. I think, I'm not sure my partner would be like, that's a change pot. I don't think he'd register. But aren't they cute? They're blue. Uh, these are my face cream jars in. And the company doesn't just recycle them, it uses them, which I love. This is Beauty Kitchen, the same company that does the spray. I'm obsessed with Beauty Kitchen. It is really, really, uh, like, realistically priced. The quality is brilliant. It's often on offer, so wait and buy it when it's on offer. Um, <laughs> And they reuse instead of just recycling. I'm about to use. Oh, excuse me. Um, so those are brilliant. Um, these come with some really nice spices in. We don't buy them very often, but we do occasionally. Ah, there we go. We have a winner. 
We have a winner. Right. Now, does the lid fit? No. So, the annoying thing, what I try and do is if I'm keeping a jar like that, I would put it in its lid so that they stay together, particularly if I'm only just started using it. So, this one won't fit. So, I will put this back in my glass jar pot and I will just use this one for the moment. Um, but I will keep hold of this until I'm definitely sure that that is going to work because that is a really useful jar, plain white lid combination. I clean them up really nicely. Um, but it means that we now have a change pot. There's a key in here that should not be in here. We now have a change pot. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to bend that as I do. Is I am gonna take out the coppers and just put the bigger chains in for the moment. I'm not gonna get rid of the coppers, but I will put them somewhere else. Because if we're trying to grab change, it's usually if we're trying to grab change for um lockers or um to give someone change on a if they're buying something from us at the front door, um, and it's unlikely we're going to be charging anything in. 5p's or pennies or 2p's or anything so everything and um, everything over a 5p i'm going to put in there and the others i'm going to stick them in there for the moment and put them somewhere else they're quite good for my daughter with counting and things so i don't know why we just seem to have a lot of coppers at the moment who knows who knows oh, crazy Stretching out my back at least. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Okay, we're nearly done. <laughs> there we go. Done. So I've just put the, the bigger ones into that one and I'll work out what I'm going to do with that later. And these can come out and let me use it. Those. Excellent. There's just this big pile of mess on the floor, which is just what happens. We want to make this look tidy and then we, everything else. I mean, I know where everything else is going. Um, it's just not staying there. Um, those are spare business cards. I've got a new in here at the moment. I feel like my wallet has run out, so I can put some more back in here. I think that's where they came from. I think I had a lot of cash for something in here, and I had such a tiny wallet that didn't matter. Um, move those up to there. Um, Is not showing. Um, right, let's split those up. Let's see what they are. Instead of having a bigger pot, have those two. And then that gives a nice. These always fall over, but now they've got less space. They will hopefully stay stood up right. Perfect. Winning a life. These are all adjustable, so I could move that down so that it's got a bit more height. But as it, I don't get it in, I don't take that in and out that often. It doesn't matter. Whereas that one, I wouldn't have that in there because it would just be too tight. I need a bit more room because I access it quite a lot. And um, says so that right. We've still got the bottom one empty for the camera equipment. That's good. Um, umbrellas. Roll up the bags that they can go in there. I'll tell you what, I might be able to. I think I'm going to leave that for my daughter's book bag and other things that are going to leave the house. So these things that were annoying me that had nowhere to go, they can now go in there. Excellent. I could do with a little box for it. Um, this will do for the moment, though. I mean, it's a bit too scruffy for my liking. So that will, I will find a tidier one at some point. Little bits there. No, that's too big as well. We won't fit the book bag in. There we go. Little things that are going somewhere. And then there's space for her book bag in there still. Um, bags and space for the camera stuff. I might move the bags down one, right? I'll take you down. 
again. So we are, I think we'll move this down one more. So it's like these three are the same size, then there's two at the top, and one size, and two tinies right, right at the top. Yeah. The other ones will go on there. It was one of these like Bluetooth clicker things everyone talks about, but I just, if I, I, I just set a timer, <laughs> just don't use it. So, and um, I'll rebox it up properly in a minute. Um, right, this is what my daughter is obsessed with, GoPro. She talks to it like it's a, a person. Can I play with GoPro, mommy? <laughs> Only child syndrome, isn't it? There we go, for my man. Um, are these all going to be... Okay, just sitting in here. I think we might do... That's the charger for that camera. Um, which I will probably... I've got... Look, look. Where is it? I did have them. I did have it somewhere. Oh, it's on the desk. I've got some little drawstring bags, so I'll probably pop that into a little drawstring bag, but that's all right about that for the moment. Um, and we've got all the attachments for the camera in that one, and then the charging thing in here. So that one there and the other bit of the tripod apparently got a very complicated tripod. Let's put you down and some because I can't use you very often. I like to use you and that one there. Excellent. I'll put you upside down is better. Wonderful. Magnificent. Another empty box in my life. Love, love an empty box. And how much tidier does that look? So happy. So happy. Oh, oh, bit of a mission. So I need to, the only thing I've got to sort of specifically we home, I'm not sure where it's going, is the dog bits. Um, but as we don't need very regular access to it, that's not hugely problematic. Oh, in fact, now that's gone. There we go. Wonderful. Some tiny sodas like that. There we go. And we've got more room in here too. Perfect. There we go. Doggy bits have gone up there on the top shelf where the things were that are now here. Where my daughter can now put her book bag in as well. And then we'll hopefully remember because they'll be right by her book bag each morning. Oh, yay me! Um, so, um, where do you keep your spare jars? Uh, in a utility room. So, I, I have certain jars that I will keep. So, those... They, they predominantly have to be clear and um, the only reason like I said I've got the blue ones is because those are returnable and I haven't got a batch to return so I will keep a couple of those until I've got a few and then I'll return them in one go um but they need to be like the specific like the white lid type ones but the mayonnaise jars and the coconut oil jars I use a lot of those all our nuts all our hot chocolate I'll show you one actually um I was making a hot chocolate not that long ago and um, so these are the coconut oil ones, um, which they're really big. They're really good size. You're going to actually use them. So I like the extremes, the little ones, the big ones. And then the um, these mayo ones are in the middle. And look, if I show you, which, hold that thought. Hold that thought. They uh, are. So I clean them up and they become this. I spray paint the lids and then I have stock. And cinnamon but I have a whole drawer full of them with different things in because we get a lot of our stuff in the refill larder and um, I I need to take a container to put it in and they're just like a nice they're just like a nice size as our the things we use often so I keep those I have two big pots 
in a cupboard in the utility room um and then when they get a little bit full they're getting a bit fuller now because in the run-up to christmas um i keep up a few extras of these um and we'll do bar salts or chocolate buttons in them and stuff as christmas presents and we'll paint the lids still paint the lids white but then we'll do some like little red dots and some glitter on them or something um to make them a bit more festive always always good um I'm going to go now because I'm going to shoot to the gym, but we will be back with whatever date the next one is. <laughs> I've forgotten. I, think, I want to say it's the 13th. I think there's one on Thursday evening, maybe. Um, but uh, they will be back. This is six, so we have four more to go. I know we've got Tupperware. I know we've got... I'm trying to believe like Tupperware, Arts and Crafts, kitchen appliances i can't remember what the fourth one is but there are 10. <laughs> so there's definitely another one just can't remember what it is right now <laughs> always good um but yeah so we're doing appliances tupperware arts and crafts and something else um and it will come to me and probably when i look at the infographic um but have an amazing christmas well, have I missed that? Uh, no, Christmas is in um, is a separate workshop, so it's a whole other one. Um, so Christmas one, the Christmas workshop is in the membership. Um, it is on twenty something. Oh, check that. Um, but it's yeah, it's towards the end of the month, and it's a full Christmas planning workshop. Um, as opposed to a declutter with me. Um, and it's in the live section in the membership. Um. But yeah, I can't remember what the fourth one is. The thing is, um, yes, do sign up to membership. Oh yeah, I meant to meant to plug that, aren't I? Not very good at that. Um, so if you hear me talk about the membership, um, it's only twelve pounds a month. Uh, you can cancel any time. So if you just want to join for a month, it's absolutely fine. It's got my full declutter and organisation course in there, amongst other courses, downloadables, principles, workshops. We do at least a monthly goal setting workshop, and um, and then some months we also do additional ones. So last month we had the September reset, so there were eight additional workshops last month. This month we've got the Christmas ones. So There's just one additional workshop. Next month, we have four additional workshops because November is yearly goal planning and ah, all the excitement. So we have for the first full week in November. So the first week of November, like the the Monday is in October. So not the, not the week commencing the 31st, the week after. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday evening, 7.30. I think I've put in 7.30 to 9.30 um, just to give myself lots of time. Um, but we are doing my yearly goal setting with me and um, workshops um, where we do all the planning for next year so that by the time January comes we can actually start the year as opposed to doing the planning in January and we don't want to do it in December because December is about eating mince pies and other cake related things and um, so yeah <laughs> there's always loads going on in there um, but you can go over to the lifestylecoachuk.com forward slash plans um, and sign up uh, either sign up for the flow one which is 12 pounds a month um, and that automatically repeats but you can cancel whenever or there's one that automatically cancels but it's uh, a little bit more expensive and um, so 19 pounds a month which is still a bargain I mean I'm awesome obviously <laughs> also what I do with my um my stock and cinnamon records okay i'm now losing my mind so i'm gonna go <laughs> um have an amazing day see you soon michelle um lots of love and uh i will be back oh i'm on instagram live this evening at half past six um with a podcast episode with a special guest ta -ta for now.